Hey guys, this is me, right back with a video. Today we are playing Lumine Legacy. So, okay, that is their face. Okay. okay, so the beach update <coughs> was out. So, this is pretty cool right here. All of this. So I'm just gonna show you all the stuff that they added. So over here is all of these masks of the roamings. And one of them is I guess everyone's favorite roaming. So first we have Igazune, Duskit, and I forgot his name, but it's a pretty cool roaming. And it's from Halloween. So today they actually added this box over here. There was no box here a couple of days ago and now there is let me just get my teeth to show you this. every new room in what another thing I add again oh yeah so first things first I want to show you about guys the new lumens so first we have sharp pod this you can get from swimming in the not swimming, fishing in the beach, and this will pop up. And then we have its evolution, Samarine. So Samarine is just a, a giant shark, pretty cool. The mount is this. Yep, it, there, it has the mount. I'll show you how to get it after we're done showing all the other humans. <laughs> so we have Cabin Fish, another Pokemon. Kevin Nish, another Pokemon, Lumion, you can get from fishing. So, Sharpods is a water metal type. Its ability is terrifying. And yeah. Then we have Samarine, water metal, of course, Rev Up, and yeah. Then we have Cavendish, water plant, bully, and yeah. And then we have, oh yeah, Samarine's alpha form, or bullying. Here it is, from here, here is it, in its mount form, pretty cool. Anyways, after that we have Can Key. It's a cool crab that actually walks sideways, and its evolution is a giant crab, which I don't have, and I wish I did. But I still have to do like a couple of levels, and I don't have any power fruits. Then we have Lumik, Lumika, Lumeka. It's this little Pokemon. Um, I think it's a shell or something because that girl over here over there she collects seashells and he, she had a lot of lumikas and a polypi which is or was it polypi I don't know it's not in the game yet so polypi is probably gonna be in Atlantean so then we have another lumian which is mellow the evolution of Lumika. So, first time I saw this, I thought it was like a water ghost type because it's like the eyes and the <coughs> face kind of remind me of a ghost for some reason. It's there's a, it's a pure water type. Makes no sense. It could have been a toxic type, but they gave the toxic type toxic type to the another another Pokemon. It should be a flying water type. Weird how they made it that. So it's a bloody sharp edges and yeah. Next up we have Makoro. Oh yeah. So when you're walking the water you can find Kanki and you can find Lumelo. Lumelo's pre evolution. And we can also find Makoro or Makoro's pre evolution. Which is a, like a slug thing. I don't know. So Makoro right here. 
Now we also Sharpod evolves into a Samarine in, at level 38 and l l whatever that thing was this thing's pre-evolution ev ev evolved at like level 22, 24, maybe even 23 somewhere around there so when you walk in the water you can find a room in so walk in the water and Lumion it's a copy everyone already knows copy is from route 8 and copy spawn of course so we have a nice alpha alpha of Citrigon we have oh yeah this is the next Lumion I'm gonna show it's snaggle sometimes you can find a snaggle with a bread not bread a sandwich a whole sandwich i'm trying to find that's lumika of course okay so it evolves at like level 25 that's good to know yeah pretty much let me just go on my okay this con con key So we're here in my let me just take my mastery. We have our Okay, not the bag, the mastery. So the mastery when we go to Lumipedia there should be It's somewhere in here. I was right. I guess this will evolve into this. What I'm guessing is that if you have a girl one, it turns into that. And if you have a boy one, it turns into that. Kind of like the calf note line or whatever it's called. So this is the room I'm looking for. So this turns into Makuru. So yeah, that's I'm. I think all the lumens I need to show. Um. Oh yeah, Snaggle. Forgot about it. So this is I already showed you Snaggle in the ocean. So this is a Snaggle. It's evolution. Snaggle is for some reason an air toxic type. Like what? Okay, yeah. Its ability is immune, immune, immunita, immunize, immunized. Yeah, and this is a snaggle with bread. Evolution of snaggle with bread, snaggle with bread to snaggle with half-eaten sandwich. I keep calling it bread, and then when it turns into snaggoop, its evolution. The bread is, I mean, the sandwich is gone, and it's just the thing right there. The tooth, toothpick with the olive. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all. Look at this. I have so many gleamings. So it's a flex. Okay, so. After that, that's all the lumens. I don't think I have any left. So. Some cool details. Here's, uh. Volcalola um, Surfboard Here's a Score beach ball A pew of beach ball Oh yeah I forgot So pew of Got an evolution And it's called bar blast It's like a spike ball Based on underwater mines Whatever those things are called that explode Then we have uh, What's this Thing called it's a volcano vocal vocal Ola. yeah whatever so this is another board there's a pf pf ball 
This is the pagoda. I love the pagoda. Yeah, Ikazune and stuff. So over here is a <coughs> a meme with these two. So this guy's saying, "Come on, dude, the water is perfect. Don't worry about the wild dominions. They won't attack you if they if you leave if you they won't attack you if you leave them alone." Well, this guy, the meme man, says, the chance of a Lumina attack may be low, but it's never zero. It's a meme. Yeah, you can, you guys can search up that meme. It's pretty funny. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, this, this, the Lumian. With the mask. So, in Lando Street of the League, before the beach was out, with this, all of this, this dudes playing, these people playing beach ball, and now we have in, we have it in the game, pretty cool. So from the Valentine's update, we had this worm called G worm or Gworm, I don't know, and that's it right there. It's just pretty sure it's eating this leaf. <coughs> then we have this lighthouse. It was uh, the special thing about this lighthouse is it's from P Pokemon Brick Bronze and pretty much saying Pokemon Brick Bronze was great, so we added it in the game. So another thing over here. So as you know, in the things the P of submarines, you take them. To go to Atlant Atlant Atlantia or yeah whatever. So right now you can go there. It's gonna be the next update, and they're saying, "Hey, Rolana, are you ready to go to Atlantean City?" We can't. Look, stupid cones. They're blocking us. Okay. So right here, take the submarines to Atlantean City. Coming with the update, with the Atlantean update, which is coming somewhere around April. So another thing, over here, sandwich snaggle, and over here, the box that gives you three power fruits. Using power fruits, you can level up your Lumians by one level. I'm hoping they add another type of power up, um, power fruit that gives you like five or two. Levels. So after you beat, what I'm guessing after you beat the water water gym, you get like maybe a T M M, or maybe even a what was it? Maybe even a Lumi Watch upgrade to to like a geyser burst or whatever it can be called. Using that on this could boost you up. All the way up there to that gate over there. That gate, we can see it from very far away. So, going to that gate, we will go to the next land. Route 10. Wait, isn't this? Yeah, this is Route 9. That could be Route 10. And after Route 10, we will have like. So, everyone's guessing it's gonna be like Aradia from Pokemon Brick Bronze. So, yeah. That's pretty cool. So to get this, the Sharpout Mount, you have to walk up here. This dude right here will have a yellow thing over his head. Clicking on him, he will be like, have you brought my trash? So getting trashed, you just fish. Let's see what you've fished up. So with your boots, your tin cans, your tires, and your ropes, you can buy Three MMs, Maroon, Tsunami, and Bait. And these pearls, which are absorb half of the power of a typeless attack, use against a Lumion equipped with this item. So yeah, this is pretty cool. And then dark health shards and dark other shards, which take away away the unique health points and other points from a Lumion when used. Now for the Samurai Saddle. 
once you have unlocked Samarind and you have him as a Lumion, as your friend, you will need 10 boots, or maybe 15, 10 cans or 5 cans, 3 tires, and 2 ropes. Using all of those, I should say, all of, all of the requirements over here, click buy, equip, and bam. You have your Samarine mount. So yeah, that's all for this video. Oh, bye.